17. 17 cannibal bodies about to go up in flames. Shoot, look at that. Hey everyone, and welcome back for another episode of The Forest. Now, we've got a new update. We're at version 0 0.60, and the biggest thing from that update is they added a new weapon slash tool, which is the chainsaw. Uh, they did a bunch of bug fixes and some uh, cave changes, and that's what we're going to look at today. But real quick, I want to show you what I've gotten done. I have already got the stairs up to the third level finished, and I've got the walls I'm going to put in place finished. Uh, now, since I didn't get this quite lined up perfectly, there is a little difference between one wall on one side and the other, but that's okay. I don't care. Uh, I went ahead. I put posts to be uh, added on each side just so it looks like there's support structure. And beyond that, I'm going to do a full uh, bone fence around the edge. So this is nice and open and you see all right. I've already got everything set up for the roof. And it's a total of 202 logs I'm going to have to harvest for that. So I've got a good bit of work ahead of me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and eat some berries right now. Just get my stamina up. And I'll show you. I've already got a bunch of logs already uh, accumulated. I went ahead and made three more log sleds because why make a bunch of log holders that can only hold one more? log than a sled can and have to load it from the holder to the sled and then off the sled anyway so i just went ahead and made four sleds there plus the one i used to haul them down from here and that's enough for me for right here so that's what i'll be doing uh during the off-screen time this week is finishing up the roof for that along with starting the bone fence and getting that all taken care of but today we're going to go and find the chainsaw which coincidentally is exactly where we went, or on the way, to where we got the climbing axe last episode. So if you have seen that last episode, you already know where we're going. If you haven't, go watch it. I'm just kidding. We're going to the sinkhole and to a cave right outside the sinkhole. So be sure you stay on to watch this episode. And once we're done with this, go back and watch the last week's episode about the climbing axe if you haven't already seen it. But I will see you at the cave entrance in just a minute. Okay, we are here at the cave entrance, which, as you can see, is next to a tent. It's along the uh, western lake area, right next to that little land bridge, and just north of the sinkhole, which is right over there. And you can see right here where we are. So all we got to do is climb on down the rope. Okay, just like last week. Uh, again, if you haven't watched last week, I encourage you to watch last week's episode after this. But we get to the bottom of the rope, and we're just going to walk forward. And there's another rope we got to climb down. All right, and we are at the bottom of that rope. You can just keep going, and you can't miss it. There's another rope, and you can see the blue f reflections below, as long along with uh, hear the sound of water. You'll come up to here. And now, while you could pretty much should be able to get through the water at this point without the rebreather, it's helpful to have it because you can't see. <laughs> uh, also, one of the changes in the update is a new breath meter that has been added uh, instead of the old one. And I definitely like it. It looks a lot better. I'm going to throw on the rebreather so you can see just where we're going. And you see they changed a few things. And now that's a uh, generator floating in the water. Things look a bit different. Uh, so let's get the rebreather off. We don't need it now. And we have one more rope to climb down. As you can see, something looked a little different from last uh, week. There's a light here. And what we see we've got is a new campsite has been added that conveniently lets you sleep and have a save point. So if you want to just camp out down here, you can. And there we have it, the chainsaw. Uh, now, you can get this way coming from the uh, sinkhole ledge cave. Uh, if you want to go down a different route, uh, taking the uh, cave entrance that's north of the uh, cockpit. But doing that, you'll need to have the climbing axe because you'll have to climb down a spot or just 
drop down and try not to take too much damage. And you'll come back along this way to the cave ledge and end up being uh, coming through here. And now at some point going that way, you definitely will encounter some mutants and babies. So this is the easiest way is to just come, kind of go straight through there, straight through that one cave along the water's edge by the lake. So that's the chainsaw. That's how you get to it. And now let's, uh, I want to get back to my base and put this thing to use. Okay, we're back at the base. I went ahead, slept through the night, got food to eat, and I came across an interesting discovery. Apparently, every bit of my defense walls have taken damage uh, that are along this outer edge here. I mean, the rock wall, the, the gate, everything has taken damage for some reason, and it's all identical amounts of damage. It's all, you know, seven points of repair that I'm having to do to every bit of it. So I don't know if that was something like maybe with the terrain alignment caused it to take some damage kind of thing. Uh, or if it was something else, like the fact that I have stone walls and uh, wood defensive walls stuck right together. But every bit of the walls outside the base have taken damage. Uh, and it seems to only be this stretch of walls. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe I just missed it. There was a cannibal attack that happened while I was gone. I don't know. But I'm going to try to get these repaired real quick. Because I would hate to have an RMZ come after me with my walls not fully uh, intact and take part of my base out. Now, that's interesting is that apparently these walls were not affected. So it makes me think maybe it's something to do with the fact that I have the defensive walls and the rock walls side by side and they because of their proximity they are butting up against each other and that causing them to damage each other all right well now that that's taken care of huh i was wanting to just go ahead and show you the uh the chainsaw but apparently these cannibals have a, another idea I say you better catch somebody on fire. There we go. Dead on. Don't you even think about getting up. Come on, man. There we go. You. Perfect. I'm going to kill your woman. Hey, I'm going to drop you. Let me fix this back. Whoa. That's a jump scare right there. Jeez. Stop getting yourselves caught in my traps. Come on. I need time to cut these guys down. Whoo, come on. Give me some stamina. Why can't I get that good one hit kill thing on them? How about that? Ah, got one guy down. Too bad I don't have a available rope trap right there. So you won't let me get your buddy down and let you get caught in it. Yep, 15. 16. 17. 17 cannibal bodies about to go up in flames. You look at that. All right. I need to get some more bone armor on. Okay, so I've got full bone armor. I've got five bone armor in my inventory. I've got full set of regular bones, and I've got full set of skulls, and I have six baskets full of bones right now, so I don't even have any room for all these extra bones just laying here. But now, finally, after all that, we are going to test out the chainsaw okay i'm noticing already not even revving it up there's some audio artifacts happening like skipping and stuff like that so i'm not sure if that's just something new that's gotta be worked out but here it goes 
I decided to chop down one of these trees so I can knock it over the ledge and just easily run down and grab it, carry it over as I need to. Alright. So, he'll ever stop going. That is the chainsaw. Pretty easy to use. Uh, and very quick at chopping down trees. Though, I'm not sure how long the... Uh, fuel will last for it. It's also very loud in comparison to using, the, like, the modern axe or just any axe in general as far as your chopping noise that you're generating. So it may be a case of using it is faster, but at the same time, it's also far noisier in regards to drawing the attention of cannibals and mutants. So you may want to be careful when using it uh, as it may draw in too much attention to you as you are chopping down trees. So it wouldn't be something you don't want to use potentially very far out from a, a good defensive point, base, something like that. So that's the uh, chainsaw. And you can see just from two, two trees that I'm already down, say, roughly a tenth of my fuel level on it. So if we say two trees is a tenth, then that's roughly 20 trees I can chop down on one tank of fuel with it, which is, you know, considering the speed I could chop the trees at, very helpful. But at the same time, I'm nowhere near the sinkhole. I don't have a base I'm building near the sinkhole, and that does take time to run to the sinkhole and, or, you know, run down to that cave, get in and get extra fuel so it's not something i want to be using too much of just because it will be a pain to have to go and get more fuel for it when i run out and as i as far as i've seen so far and from what i've been uh, hearing from other people online i haven't seen anything indicating that there's gas tanks that you can get to refill it at other locations that's kind of like the rebreather cave where in that cave it was specifically a lot of stuff for the rebreather right there but you're not going to walk into one of the cannibal villages and find necessarily a an o2 tank somewhere in just one of the cannibal villages so it's not like i'm going to be walking along one of the cannibal villages and find more fuel for it so i definitely want to keep it somewhat conservative on my use of it but i think that's pretty much it for today's episode uh, you know, you saw where to get the, uh, chainsaw and it's actually easy or easier to get, uh, other than having to get to the area than the modern axe. The difference is, of course, the fuel for it, being able to keep it functional and having fuel. And I still need to wash off this blood and I'm sure I've got an infection now. So I'll probably need to take some aloe, to take care of that. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty much just one of the easier things in the game to get. I think before in that cave, there was some babies and maybe one cannibal I had to kill. Uh, but they weren't there this time. So maybe they haven't respawned since I took them out last episode, which makes no sense. It's been quite a few days in game since then. So maybe they actually changed it. So there is no cannibals or babies on the way there. And now it's actually just as easy to get as the katana is early game because you don't have to worry about fighting any enemies on the way to get it. So it's actually a very easy to get item. It's also, if you're going to get it, you are right there. You might as well continue on and get the climbing axe. And if you want, you can climb your way out that way or go back the way you came. But you're so close at that point to the climbing axe, I would say you might as well just go ahead and get it. And again, if you didn't watch last week's episode, be sure to check it out. And that I'll show you in that one how to get the climbing axe. It's not much farther away. So... Might as well just get that at the same time you're getting the chainsaw if you haven't already gotten it. But, like I said, chainsaw is apparently very easy to get uh, compared to a lot some of the other items in the game. So, if you're just starting out, you might want to jump ahead and get it because it'll make building that first base go a lot quicker. Alright, well that's it for today's episode, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm your host, as uh, always, Mr. Spicy. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Keep up with all my content during the week. And once again, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next episode.